COVID-19 cases are on the rise in Nova Scotia, prompting a group of infectious disease experts to call for mandatory masking again. But Premier Tim Houston said he's not ready to hit the panic button yet. CTV's Jesse Thomas reports. Look, let's be clear. COVID-19 is present all around us. There's lots of COVID around, and it's stubborn. Said Nova Scotia Premier Tim Houston in a government video posted on social media, which is getting a lot of feedback and criticism, including from government opposition. Both the Liberals and the NDP have been calling on the Houston government to resume posting daily data on COVID-19 and to hold a briefing as soon as possible. Uh, so I don't think a, a rushed video after question period uh, yesterday is the way to, to show that your government is listening to medical health experts. We know there's a lot of COVID-19 cases in Nova Scotia, and according to infectious disease expert Dr. Lisa Barrett, the infection rate has never been higher during the pandemic. Between 20 high 20s and 30% and positivity. So that's close to, you know, one in three tests uh, being positive. Premier Houston says no further COVID-19 briefings are scheduled and says COVID reporting will continue on a weekly basis. I don't know that the, the elected officials are the best, best place to answer questions on trends and epidemiology. The NDP leader says public health could hold a briefing on its own without the Premier. We know that in province after province, uh, you, the briefings have been held throughout this last couple of years and you would never see the Premier. Having more COVID-19 data and information available right now would be beneficial, said Barry who along with a number of epidemiologists and disease physicians in Nova Scotia are recommending the government bring back the mask mandate in public places, at least while the cold and flu season remains. And I am not a big fan of mandates, but right now, the other part of science, the behavioral science folks, tell us that if we think that masks are important in public spaces, we're going to have to make it a rule. And Todd, we heard it there in the clip to start the story. The Houston government doesn't deny there's a lot of COVID around, but they're not ready to hit that panic button yet. Tim Houston, the premier, says Nova Scotians have the tools they need to protect themselves while living through this pandemic. And uh, we've heard that uh, there have been issues with COVID uh, at Province House, where you are, Jesse. Um, what are you hearing about how many COVID cases are dealing with there? Well, that's a good question, Todd. Uh, last week, we did report that five MLAs and a staffer did test positive for COVID-19, and that prompted the government to look at uh, options to continue this spring session. I can tell you that they have decided to make it a hybrid model now, and we are hearing that maybe a couple more MLAs have tested positive, at least six, um, but they have moved to a hybrid format now. House leader Kim Maslin says that in order to have quorum, at least 15 of the 55 MLAs still need to be present in the House at this time, but they have moved to that hybrid format to allow MLAs who have either contracted COVID or are self-isolating to continue to take part in this uh, sitting. Okay, and I know you'll be watching those numbers, Jesse. Thank you very much. CTV's Jesse Thomas at Province House for us in Halifax this evening.